Hello everyone. Before we start, I really want to thank you for your vote in our Telegram channel, and because this video is the first video in 2022, I will present to you one of the best quick and accurate strategies that doesn't require much experience to use, but before watching it, I wish you to watch the video that talks about taking profit and stop loss so that you can master it in a great and profitable way. We can use this strategy on any time frame, 1 hour, 4 hours, 1 day, 5 minutes, or even 1 minute, but I recommend using it on a 15 minute or 30 minute frame in order to get good results. Before we get started with this strategy, let's talk about the benefits of the moving average indicator quickly. Open the indicators box and search for the moving average indicator. Now open the indicator settings and change the length to 100. In simple words, when the moving average line breaks from bottom to top, we will have an uptrend, and when the opposite happens, we will have a downtrend, and this is what happens all the time when we trade with most of the stable coins on small frames. Try to remember this information because it is always useful. Okay, now you can close the moving average indicator. Now, let's start implementing our strategy by heading to the indicators box again. In the search field type, Big Snapper. And please allow me to thank Mr. Just Uncle for this great indicator. Well, this is the indicator that we were using it in today's strategy, but before that, let's make some adjustments to it. Open the indicator settings. Then head to the style section and remove all the moving averages lines, but you must leave the slow moving average and some other inputs, as you can see here, because we will need it later. Try to modify it as you can see in the video, this modification may not be very important, but we don't want to get confused by some lines we don't need. When you're done, click OK so we can move on to the second part. As you can see here, the trend is moving above the moving average line, and this shows that the market is in an upward movement. In this case, which is the case of the uptrend, we will rely on the green signs only, as for the red ones, we will consider that they do not exist. But here, when the candles move below the moving average line, we will rely on red signs only, while the green signs, we will ignore them. In clear language, when the candles are above the moving average line, we will use the green signs to entering a long position, and when the candles are below the moving average line, we will use the red signs to entering a short position. All this will be clear when we start the practical application, so let's start first by entering to the longs, then we will move on to the short trades. Well, let's use our time machine, and let's say we've been trading somewhere here. And let's zoom in so that the video is clear to everyone. Let's say we were trading here, and suddenly, we noticed that the candles crossed the moving average line from bottom to top. And after closing a few candles, we noticed a buy signal that appears in green color. But unfortunately, the candle above this signal was red. In this case, we will not enter, and we will wait for the next candle to close. That's good, a green candle appeared right after the red candle, which means, we're going to enter now. Now let's define stop loss and take profit in a professional way. The way to stop loss is very simple, which is to put it a little below the green line, as you can see here. And don't forget, just below the green line. But in taking profit, we will depend on the nearest peak, so you should watch the video of take profit and stop loss to learn more. Use the horizontal line to accurately draw your targets. As we can see here, the stop loss ratio is more than the take profit, and this would happen sometimes when we trading on small time frames. Well, let's run it and see what happens. Yes, we reached the first target quickly, and also, a new buy signal appeared. I think we will not miss the second signal, so we will enter here as well. Let's play it again, so we can see it well. 
Here, the second buy signal appeared, but here, the first candle was in green, and this is considered better, compared to the previous signal, so we will enter directly, instead of waiting for the next candle. As we said, the stop loss will be below the green line of the signal, but the take profit will be according to the nearest stop. But we are already at a peak, similar to the nearest peak. In this case, we will look for another peak a little further away. This area looks good, especially with these two saturated candles. Okay, let's put the take profit at this level, and don't forget, always slightly below it. And so is the stop loss, just below it. That's good, looks like it hits the target as well. Well, let's go step by step and see what happens. Well, here we got a new entry signal, but it came with a red candle, so, as we said before, we must wait for the second candle, and it must be green. Unfortunately, the next candle was also red, in this case, we must cancel this signal, and waiting for the next one. Even if the third candle is green, this signal has expired and has been cancelled. Okay, here's a new buy signal. And the first candle is red, so we must wait for the second candle, as we learned a while ago. Excellent, it's green candle, so we'll take a long position here. Now, let's at take profit and stop loss as we did before. The stop loss will be below the green line, and the take profit will be at the wicks of the nearby candles, or at the nearest high. That's great, we've hit the target again. Now, focus on the movement of the moving average line is starting to move higher, and this is also a good indicator for upcoming trades. Okay, here is also another entry signal, but because it started with a red candle, we will wait for the next candle and see. That's good, the second candle was green, so we'll enter here as well. Let's play it again, so we can see it clear. Let's at take profit and stop loss here too. As you can see, there are no tops or big candles near our entry point, so we will search further until we find the first top that is a little close. The stop loss was easy as always, but in the take profit, there are no tops or big candles near the entry point, so we will look further until we find the first top which is a bit closer. This top looks good, and as we agreed, we always put the take profit a little below it. As you can see, here the profit is improving, because the upward movement of the moving average indicator has become noticeable. Profits have been made here too, so let's continue and look for another signal. Here is another signal, a red candle followed by a green candle, yes, we can enter here as well. The stop loss no longer needs to be explained, and the take profit is also clear here, which is the nearest stop. And once again, we hit the target. Well, let's go ahead. Here we find a new entry signal, let's take advantage of it and set our stop loss and take profit. Stop loss is the most easy thing with this great indicator, but what about take profit here, there are no tops, no wicks and no candles that we can count on, what are we supposed to do? Well, in this terrifying vacuum, we will rely on the most powerful trading tool that has been discovered in last two centuries, which is Fibonacci Retracement Tool. Click on the small arrow that you see it here, and then, choose the second tool, which is Trend-Based Fibonacci Extension. Now, choose the first bottom just before the moving average breakout, and then, head up, until you reach the last top near your trading place. As you can see, there are two tops here, and they are on the same level, in this case, we can choose any one of them. Then, go back to the same point you started from. Okay, here we have finished drawing Fibonacci in the simplest way, and you will notice its accuracy when we start trading shortly.
Now double click on any of the Fibonacci lines so that we can make some important modifications and additions. Here we will add some sub levels because you will find them not added when you use it for the first time. You will find them like this. So you should add them like this. There are the background colors, choose what you like. And here, you will find the levels numbers on the left side, you may want to move them to the right side. Finally, you need to extend the lines to the right, in order, to catch up with the trend. Well, excuse me for explaining in such a detailed way, so that everyone can clearly apply this strategy. Now let's go back to our chart and continue trading. Let's zoom in this area, so we can see it better. Here we set the stop loss as we explained earlier. As for taking profit, it will be at the nearest Fibonacci level, and as we said, always, slightly below it. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, we hit the target again, but be careful, the take profit should always be a little below the line, always. But have you ever wondered how we got this accuracy from Fibonacci levels? To know the accuracy that you will get after setting the Fibonacci levels, you should review the levels from bottom to top. If you find that some candles respect these levels in the retracement and the breakout, this means that you have drawn it well, and if you do not find this respect, then you should try to tune it again. Well, let's go on, because I won't leave you today until you understand every detail, big and small. Here, we found another buy signal, so let's stop and see it closely. The stop loss does not need to be explained, as for taking the profit, it will be at the next level, especially since we have a candle wick that has broken the nearby Fibonacci line. And the target has been achieved. And here, we get another buy signal, with a beautiful green candle. There are many of them, just try to master this strategy, and believe me, it will be one of your best strategies in the future. Take profit at the next level, and stop loss below the green line. Here, another buy signal appeared, but we did not close our first signal, so we will continue, and wait for what happens. Excellent, the target was hit by more than 5%. Okay, let's move forward with the trend. Here we have a red sell signal, but wait, it is above the moving average line, so it is considered a false signal that we will not use. Well, let's move on quickly, because I'm sure now that you don't need fine details anymore. But wait, we just lost a deal here, so let's see what happens next. Well, we made up for it fast, that's how it always happens, we win, we lose, we make up, and we consolidate. This was a long show for most long position trade possibilities. Now let's quickly review the short positions, because we are running out of time. Let's say we're trading somewhere here. Here we got a sell signal, and also the candle was red and below the moving average line. Here we can take the profit according to the wick of this candle, and the stop loss will be slightly above the red signal line. Well, it was good, and the trend is still moving down. Here we got another sell signal, but you will notice that the first and second candles were green, so we will not enter. But after that, we got a buy signal, but it was below the moving average line, so we will not enter here either.
here too, we will not enter. Here, all the signals are good, so we can enter, and we can take profit according to this bottom. But to understand more, let's draw Fibonacci levels again. Start from the first highest high before the trend break out of the moving average line, and go down until it touches the highest low, then go back to the first point. Now, this line will be the next target. This is good, here too we have reached the target. And another sell signal showed. Let's add our stop loss and take profit, and see what happens. And it has reached the target too. Here, the next target will be at this line. Unfortunately, it was an unsuccessful deal. Now that the candles have approached the moving average line, and the wick of this candle has been breached to the moving average line, we can return to the long trades, but taking into account the risk. Now, how can we create our own signals? Simply, click here on these small points, then choose to add an alert on Snapper. And here, you will find the long and short alerts, choose the signal you want. Here you will find some simple settings, such as the type of alert, the way it appears, its sound, and so on. After you finish, click create. And that's all, now a small box will appear in the middle of the chart with an alarm sound, every time the alarm detects a buy or sell signal according to your choice. All that remains is to test it on other time frames and on other currencies. Okay, let's review it quickly in one hour frame. As you can see, the accuracy of this indicator is impressive in one hour frame. But what about a 4 hour frame, let's check it out. As you can see in the chart, the greater the frame, the greater the accuracy. Now let's see it on other currencies. It also looks good with other coins. Let's also see the most important points in this indicator according to the opinion of the creator. Here, a trader asks about the best time frame to use this indicator, and the creator answers him. This indicator can be used for any time frame from 1 day to 1 minute, but it is recommended to use it from 15 minutes to 1 minute. And here is another trader who believes that the process of rebuilding is repainting, and the creator answers him, it does not not repaint on closed candles, it may rebuild on the current building candle, but that is not repainting as the candle has not closed yet. And you can visit the indicator page to learn more from its creator. The last thing is simple tips to master this strategy. If you want to use this strategy on a 1 minute frame, read this. 1. Try to stay away from the 1 minute and 5 minute frame as much as possible, no matter how accurate the strategy is, these frames are not intended for beginners or even advanced traders, but are for experts only, and even they may fall into its trap from time to time. When using the 1 minute frame, you may see the signal appearing and disappearing several times before closing the candles, and this does not mean that it is repainting, but rather it rebuild to confirms the signal according to the time of the candle. As is the case in other indicators, such as the MACD and RSI, sometimes we notice that the end of its lines moves downwards, then it returns to the top, and this is not considered a repainting, but rather a correction of the signal. 2. If you are a beginner, apply this strategy on a 30-minute or 1-hour frame, and do not rush to profit, and if you are advanced, you can use it on a 15-minute frame. Minimum 5 minutes. 3. If you are a beginner, always look for stable coins, do not try to tamper with unstable currencies at all. If you want to know how to find stable coins, just write in the comment and I will explain this to you. Don't forget to subscribe. Good luck.